family of a 19-year-old mother has filed a lawsuit against a gas station and apartment complex near Georgia State University, claiming the lack of security led to the young mother's death and many other shootings. The attorneys say there was a large party with no security or police presence back in October of last year. Fox News' Anjali Proctor joins us from that troubled area where Racetrack, the company, Angelique, has decided to permanently close its doors. That's right. Good afternoon to you, Christine. Now, the attorneys for this 19-year-old say closing the doors here at Racetrack is just not enough. They say Deasia Hart's death was preventable, and their goal now is to hold these companies accountable for a lack of security. It was shocking to get a call saying my only child has been shot. Mom Allison Tuff is still wrapping her head around the reality that her only child is gone. She will now have to become mother to Deja Hart's one-year-old daughter after the 19-year-old was shot and killed after leaving the popular racetrack gas station on Piedmont Road near Georgia State University. There was a large party, an unruly party. We have reports of people having weapons. There were no security cops. There were no police officers. And they were just thrown out of the building into the street, and they mixed with the huge group that was already at the racetrack. Four people were shot. Two were Georgia State University students. DeAsia, who aspired to be a lawyer, was the only one who died back in October. The attorneys filed this lawsuit just four days after a 21-year-old was murdered over the weekend at the same spot near the racetrack, off-campus housing called The Mix, and right across the street from the University Commons dorms. There have been four shootings in just over a year. Georgia State has held town hall meetings and increased security. Since Sunday's deadly shooting, Racetrack announced the gas station would permanently close. Attorneys for DeAsia say enough is enough. No accountability. That's been the common thread at many gas stations in our city, at many apartment complexes in our city. And the reason that this keeps happening again and again and again is money. Companies putting profit over protecting their people. All right, this lawyer's right, I gotta tell you. Um, these companies, whether it's like this gas station or other apartment buildings, things like that, yeah, they are putting profit over people. Responsibility for keeping your place safe, especially when you have notice of problems and people, you know, shootings, violence, things like that, they're all on notice that there are problems there and because you're holding out your business, you have an obligation and responsibility to make it safe. So either you pay for security or you make sure you call the cops when things start getting out of control or prior to it. And if that's too much uh, expense to carry on your business, then it's time for you to close it up and move and go somewhere else. I mean, there's huge social problems that you know can go on and on about, which uh, doesn't really apply to me. I'm just a lawyer, but if you're running a business, you got to keep it safe for the public and the and your customers. And if you fail to do so, and uh, you're going to be held responsible for it. It's just it's that simple. But you can't you know uh, skirt that issue, continue to profit, and and not have some responsibility in that. Sure, there's problems with you know inner city and and neighborhoods and things like that but uh, that's a whole different matter as far as the simple legal like accountability responsibility yeah they're responsible let us know what you think in the comments below and while you're down there please like and subscribe thanks again for watching